Welcome to this video. Here we're going to cover installing Google Analytics so you can track and analyze your website traffic. First, log in to Google and go to analytics.google.com or search for Google Analytics and it should appear as the first result. If you don't have an account already, this is the landing page that you'll see. So click on Start Measuring and begin to create your account. If you already have access to a GA account, go to Admin and click on Create Account. We're brought to the same account creation screen. So when you create your account, keep in mind that your GA account could potentially encompass multiple web properties. So for example, your account name could be your organization. And within your organization's account, you could create GA properties for your website, a subdomain, a mobile app, or so on and so forth. So we'll give this a name and take a look at these settings to figure out which one you want to enable. I'm going to check off the first one because I want the enhanced demographics and interest reporting. We'll click next and set up our first GA4 property. Give the property a name and set the correct time zone. Click on next and you can choose to input this business information, but it's optional. Now this is a guess, but if you provide your intended uses of GA, what they'll do is employ their AI to provide you with insights that are tailored to your experience. Again, just a guess, but we'll click on create and it'll bring us to the terms of service, which we'll have to accept in order to proceed. Choose the platform from which you'll be collecting data. We're going to choose web for our website and input the URL as well as a stream name. I'm just using the URL again for the stream name. You can also use plain language. For example, for us, it could be digital learning sandbox website so either way works there's also this section for enhanced measurement which shows you the interactions that are automatically tracked if you keep it enabled this includes tracking for page views scroll tracking outbound clicks site search video engagement file downloads and form interactions if there are any that you want to disable click on the gear icon and switch the toggle off for the undesired interactions. Then click on Create Stream. Then it'll provide you with installation instructions. If you're using a website builder or CMS, you can click on this tab and choose the platform that you're using. If you choose a specific platform you'll receive instructions for that platform so you can just follow those instructions but we'll go back up here and click on the tab to install manually so here it provides us with the script tag that you can copy and place in the code of your website if you're using Google Tag Manager there's an option for that here and it will bring you to this documentation where you can follow the instructions for Google Analytics 4. So you can click on learn how to set up Google Analytics tag and it will bring you to this documentation here. You can choose this first link to configure Google Analytics 4 tags in Google Tag Manager. And this will show you the instructions but we'll go through step-by-step step how to do this. So we'll cover a couple ways to install your Google tag step-by-step, step, starting with manual installation by placing your 
tag directly in your HTML code. So copy this snippet of code, find the opening head tag, and paste the code that you copied. The second method is to add the Google tag using a tag manager like Google Tag Manager or GTM for short. It's a great way to manage your tags, especially if you're not a developer. You can manage tags for advertising, other marketing tools, creating customized tracking, and validating the data you're tracking, all without developer resources. Go to tagmanager.google.com and once the page loads, you'll see that you'll need to create a new account. So the account structure for GTM is similar to what you'll have in GA. So the account name can be your organization name. And the container can be similar to what you named your properties. So the target platform that you select is the type of web property that you're tracking. So click on create, accept the terms of service. Then you'll see the instructions to install GTM. So copy this first snippet of code, go to your HTML. We'll remove the snippet from the previous example and we'll paste our code as high up in the head tag as possible. Go back to the instructions, copy the second snippet of code, go to the HTML, find the opening body tag, and paste that snippet of code right after the opening body tag there. Close this out. And in this overview section, click on add a new tag. Click in the tag configuration and choose Google Analytics J4 configuration. Go back to your J4 installation instructions where you can find your measurement ID in a couple places. In this code snippet, there's this URL with a query string parameter for ID and everything after the equal sign here before the quote is your measurement ID. You can copy that. It's also here in this line. Or if you click out of the installation instructions, it's also up here in this section. So you can copy any of those. Go back to your GTM tab and paste your measurement ID in that field. We'll leave this option marked because we want that page view event to fire and send to GA. Next, we'll set up the trigger that will fire this tag. So click in the triggering section and choose this all pages trigger. So this tag will fire whenever a page loads. And we'll name this tag GA4 configuration and save it. Now we can see if our tag works. But in order to do that, you need to be in a Chrome browser and you'll need the Tag Assistant by Google Chrome extension. So go to the Chrome store and install that extension. When you're back in GTM, click on Preview and publish the empty container. So once the container is published, click on Preview in the model or the preview button next to the submit button in the top right. Then what will happen is a new tab will load where you'll input your URL for the website. So once you do that, click on start. This will load the next page as well as a new tab with your website. And you'll notice in the URL that it has this GTM debug parameter. So you can differentiate that page view in your GA. And here on this page, we'll see in the lower right corner that the preview mode debugger has been connected. 
If you go back to the previous tab, you'll also see the same success indicator. If it hasn't connected, you'll see the progress bar load only halfway or a message saying that it failed to connect. If that's the case, go back to the tab with your page, your website, and click on the Tag Assistant extension. And what you might see is a button that says Reload. So click on that button and that should enable you to connect to the preview mode. Go back to the other tab that loaded, click on continue, and what you'll see here is that Tag Assistant shows you the tags that have fired and the tags that haven't. This shows us our GA configuration tag fired successfully. We can go to GA4 to validate this as well. In your GA tab, click out of this and click on the clock icon. You'll see the real-time report load and look at that. There's our page view event right there. There it is. We have the initial tracking working. Leave a comment if you're planning to install GA4 or if you've already installed GA4, what your experience has been with the setup. And if you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, and share the video. This way, together, we can cover key aspects to help you build, track, and improve digital experiences. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.